Welcome to Nihong Journey Diary. Today I'll show you how to make a delicious crusty English bloomer bread with just 5 simple ingredients. Now let's start by preparing the ingredients. In a mixing bowl, combine 400 grams flour, 5 grams dried yeast, and 6 grams salt. Then add in 30 grams olive oil or vegetable oil. Then start by mixing together the flour, salt, dried yeast, and olive oil until well combined. Now gradually add in the top water while continuing to mix. And make sure to incorporate all the ingredients evenly. Okay, now I'm going to really quickly bring this mixture together. Oh, my husband left a bag of chicken beside me. Yeah, it seems like he didn't realize I was in the middle of filming. Let's not let this unexpected interruption stop us. Let's get back to mixing our dough. Now, knead the dough until it's smooth and elastic. The olive oil will help give it a lovely texture. It's very important to knead the dough with hands. Beat the dough a little until it no longer sticks to your hands. Cover the dough with a clean towel or whatever you have, but I prefer a plastic wrap. Now, let it proof up to 3 hours in a warm place until it doubles in size. After proofing, I'm now going to move this bread back. And don't forget to pour some flowers on your cutting board or worktop kitchen. I'm using my fist knocking all of this air out of the dough. You can do this in two parts. Part 1, roll the dough on itself. And then the second part will be using your hands Scroll the loop, you want to gently rock this back and forth. Then I'll proof again anything from 45 minutes until it's increased in size. After proofing it for 45 minutes, I'm going to spray this with water. Sprinkle on some flour, brush some of this flour off. Then slash the dough surface with knife or razor if you have. Then bake in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes with the some hot water in the bottom. Bob's your uncle, a crusty English bloomer bread 
ready to be enjoyed. Well, I'm not very skilled at baking bread, so I'm at this best on the recipe I found on YouTube. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share.